Polymer Solutions International is the largest supplier of plastic racks for the HOD bottled water industry in the world, supplying racks to customers in over 50 countries. Polymer Solutions offers a revolutionary modular rack system, the ProStack. Your company has selected the ProStack to improve bottle life, production efficiency, reduce truck damage and improve safety conditions for all employees. We are providing this video to help you and your company get the maximum useful life and safe handling of the ProStack through optimum handling techniques. To prevent unnecessary pallet damage, the fork blade should never exceed the shortest width of the pallet. If the fork blade length is longer, the fork blade will extend beyond the first rack pallet and strike or enter into the second rack pallet, possibly breaking it when lifting. The fork blade end should also be ground blunt or ordered with dull points to reduce the likelihood of punctures. To minimize minor pallet deflection when lifting the ProStax 2 pocket, we suggest 5 inch wide fork blades and spacing should be set to the maximum width of the pallet pockets. The combination of narrow fork blades and incorrect positioning may create instability in top heavy stacks. Top heavy stacks are racks with empty bottles in several bottom layers and full bottles in the top. We recommend that fork blade width, length and position specifications be followed for all facilities using the ProStack. Forklift drivers should never drive directly into the pallets. They should pull up to the pallet and always stop in front of the racks. Make sure the fork blades are lined up square with the pallet and then proceed to enter the pallet. Drivers should not hit the pallet using it as a stop to determine when the fork blades are all the way into the pallet. Forklift drivers should never attempt to enter a pallet with the fork blades touching the ground. The forks must be at least two inches off the ground upon entry or they will damage the pallet. The pallet is critical to the production process and safe stacking. Fork blade tips should never be used to push or pivot the pallets or modules to turn them for positioning. Always lift and maneuver the rack into a proper position with the forklift. Pallets and racks should never be pushed along the warehouse floor or outdoors. Raised imperfections in the floor such as cracks or on rough surfaces outdoors can easily cause damage to pallets. Only one rack should be moved at a time. Moving two racks stacked on top of one another may create an unstable load and an unsafe work environment. Forklift drivers should never drive directly into the fork openings between layers. Always stop in front of the racks, making sure the fork blades are lined up with the fork openings before slowly entering. Modules should not be removed unless there is a balanced load within the layer. All tunnels must be empty filled with empty bottles or filled with full bottles. Any other combination will create an unbalanced load during handling, possibly resulting in the load tipping off of the forks. In the event of a damaged pallet or module, please inform your supervisor immediately. The removal of damaged pallets at the time of the incident will save valuable production time and increase safety. The damaged pallet should be marked noting how damage occurred so it can be evaluated to determine its future use. The ProStack rack system is designed to stack three racks high, each five layers, or 15 bottles high with full product on itself only. The ProStack is not designed for edge racking in fixed warehouse racks and should never be used in edge racking systems. Forklift operators should always line up the forklift and rack right to left before lifting the ProStack up to be stacked upon another rack. The racks must be at least two inches above the lower rack to avoid interference with the stacking cleats on the rack below it. The ProStack should never be set down off-center or on top of the stacking cleats. When lifting the racks, the operator must enter the pallet. Carefully lift the rack up at least two inches and then back the forklift away from the stack. After backing away, clearing the lower rack, the operator must lower the rack close to the floor before turning or moving the rack to its next position. When loading the ProStack racks into the rear bay of the route trucks, forklift drivers should be sure to load the rack toward the front side of the bay which is toward the cab. This will minimize movement of the racks in the back bay. In some cases where the route trucks travel on rougher roads, 
Retainer bars are added to the floor of the truck bay to prevent the racks from shifting toward the bay door. These retainer bars can cause damage to the lower pallet base if the pro stack racks are not properly loaded. The pro stack rack should be completely placed inside the truck bay, clearing the retainer bar before lowering the pro stack rack into position. Never rest or push the pro stack rack on the retainer bar as it can cause damage to the base of the pallet. For optimal bottle performance, it is recommended that you unload bottles from your ProStack racks from the top down. Our racks offer a unique reach-through feature that assists in removing the higher layer bottles from the back position. Once the bottle is pulled forward to the front position, support the bottle from the bottom of the neck with palms facing up. Slightly lift up on the neck and pull out. This helps to easily move the bottle over the rubber stops that are there to help prevent the bottles from coming out while in transit. Grabbing the top of the bottle and pulling down on the bottle engages the rubber stops, obstructing the bottle's easy movement out of the tunnel. The last recommendation, but not the least important, is forklift safety. A major contributor to damage is unsafe driving speed. Adjustments to fork positioning is much more difficult at high speed. The faster the fork blades impact the pallet, the more severe the damage. Governors on forklifts have led to greatly reduced pallet damage reduced forklift maintenance costs, extension of battery life, and a much safer work environment. And never drive forklifts with the racks higher than a few inches off the floor. Let's review. Number one recommendation, forklift blade specifications. We recommend that fork blade width, length, and position specifications be followed for all facilities using the ProStack. Number two recommendation, handling. Fork blade tip should never be used to push the rack or turn it for positioning. Always move the lift into a better position, not the rack. The ProStack should never be pushed along the warehouse floor. Modules should not be removed unless there is a balanced load within the layer. Number 3 recommendation, storage. Forklift operator should always line up the forklift and rack right to left before lifting the ProStack up to be stacked upon another rack. Number 4 recommendation, Unloading bottles. Support the bottle from the bottom of the neck with palms facing up. Slightly lift up on the neck and pull out. This helps to easily move the bottle over the rubber stops. Number 5 recommendation. Safety. Never drive forklifts with the racks higher than a few inches off the floor. Only one rack should be moved at a time. With your help, the ProStack modular rack system will provide optimum bottle protection durability and safe and stable handling in the warehouse and on the routes, which translates into lower costs and increased profits.